Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo. And today I wanted to shoot an extra video because a very important update just came out for my Galaxy Note 10 Plus that is using the AT&T SIM card. And that is the software update that gives you Samsung One UI 2.1, which is all of the brand new features that's a part of the Galaxy S20 series. So I'll go through all of these really fast just to do a high overview of what you will get. But first, let me tell you that if you have an unlocked phone, Phone that uses the AT&T SIM card or if you have an AT&T locked carrier phone this is the update for you if you have Verizon you more than likely already had this update a few days ago if you have a friend who has Verizon take their SIM card out put it in your unlocked or AT&T or T-Mobile phone it'll actually push the update from Verizon on that device then you'd be able to do the update take that SIM card back out put in your regular one and you're updated but since I don't have AT&T I couldn't do it any sooner so that's a little bit of a background tip and trick now if you don't know where this update is located just go inside of your settings and mine did not pop up like this I had to go inside of the software update and actually check to see if there was any updates the other great thing you can do is if you have Samsung smart switch program on your computer because AT&T sent off this update, that program has it as well. So if for some reason you have an AT&T phone or unlocked phone with an AT&T SIM card and you still don't see the update after watching this video, just plug it into your computer and more than likely it'll push it from there as long as the carrier pushed it out. Now, before we dive deep in this update, if you guys appreciate this video, if I'm helping you out in any sort of way, 87% of the people watching this video is not subscribed. It is free to join this party, so make sure you hit on that subscribe button and then the bell for notifications so you get all of the notifications for the future videos. So the first little update it mentions is the AR emoji. AR emoji has been updated with improvements like a manual editing feature and enhanced facial expression recognition. Uh, as the AR emoji has been updated to a new version, all previous saved AR emojis will be deleted and then you just basically have to recreate it. It's actually really nice. You go inside of AR zone and I created my little AR guy that has like my t-shirt that says Jimmy is promo and a whole bunch of really cool detailed things. Um, the new camera features you're going to get many many things uh, different modes it's going to be located in different areas you're going to have different filters you're also going to have that ar zone single take pro mode my filter selfie tone time lapse for night mode uh, and also a mode for recording videos for the front at full HD and ultra HD at 60 frames per second, which is actually pretty crazy. And also the cool thing it doesn't mention here is that you are able to record with the front and rear camera pretty much almost the same time you'd be able to flip it. As of right now, if you try to shoot with the rear or the front, you're not able to switch the camera during the recording. This should bring that, the S20 does that. Inside the gallery of similar images that are now grouped together, more organized viewing experience. Uh, you also have a feature that has been added that allows you to merge multiple multiple different groups of albums into one group. So if you have different photo albums, maybe uh, you went to Florida and then you went to California and then you went to Denver, you'd actually be able to put all three of those albums into one, maybe called travel. You also have an improved search feature that's been added to find pictures based on information, which I was I, I just uploaded that one onto one of my channels, either Jimmy is promo or Samsung in a minute, but I, I showed that off. The quick crop feature we just got done talking about on this channel as well. And then here it is for that Samsung keyboard. It has been updated, it has a multilingual translation feature. It's been added, a feature that's been added for searching various items such as emoji stickers. So a video I just uploaded talked about all of this. You also have quick share. So this is a way that you're able to share files quickly and it actually works up to five people. So I didn't really know that just yet uh, up until I kind of did a little bit of research, but the, the, the airdrop by Apple, they can only pair with one person to share things quickly. You can do this up to five people with Samsung and the music share is a way that you're able to share all of your Bluetooth, uh, you know, uh, settings with other people. So this way you can have two people paired up with the same Bluetooth speaker, especially in your car. So you're both DJs. It's actually pretty cool. And then it has device stability improvements, bug fixes, new and enhanced features, further improvements and blah, blah, blah. Let's go through, download it, and then let's come right back when it's all done. Now that the update has finished, it's turned right back on. So let's take a look at a few things, just make sure everything looks good from the update. And actually right before we go inside of that, 
one thing you can also take a look at is if you have good lock and if there was a few things that were disabled you know during the samsung one ui 2.0 you know one of the good examples would be navstar it is now here you'll also notice that a lot of these have some updates so uh we'll, we'll do that in a future video but make sure that you go through good lock and do a bunch of different updates but how about we head inside of the camera? This is where some of the really cool things is gonna you know, have some changes. So as you scroll through on the bottom, no matter what shooting mode you have, on the very left hand side you should see single take it's going to tell you you know what is single take how does it work things like that you know it's scrolling through letting you know so single take is now here it's fantastic uh move over into more and then you're going to have you know maybe a couple things added inside of here one of the main ones is going to be uh, hyperlapse when you go inside of hyperlapse you'll have an option to do hyperlapse at night which is really cool that gives you the streaking of the lights with vehicles things like that now let's head over to the very top there was two brand new sharing features they just popped up uh, you have quick share you also have music share i have a videos to going in depth on this i'll actually place links below the video if you want to check it out and then actually right up over here you can click that link it'll show you pretty much everything that's brand new with this update and we can also go a little bit more in depth about everything as well again since there's a lot more new people with this update and then another thing that it would add in is going to be that AR zone. AR zone is where you, you know, you set up your AR emojis, things like that. It actually puts it in a completely brand new menu. Everything is all in one spot. And then as you go through, you can also create your own studio things, uh, or it's called studio, but it's a way that you're able to create your own clothes, things like that. It's actually very, very detailed, really cool. You should definitely check it out. But hey, we have the update starting right now on the AT&T version galaxy note 10 devices if you have unlocked using the at&t sim card you have the update as well but i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later